Hey guys, Sophia here with Turquoise Toffee and I'm back with another video. Today we're talking about the 2024 IFBB Pro League Heart of Texas Pro Wellness results with the most amazing top five. I'm telling you, these girls all looked absolutely incredible. It was such a good show. Now, in terms of Olympia, last year's top three are automatically qualified, and then the winner of every contest held within the qualification period also gets to go to Olympia. So looking at our scorecard, they've changed the way they've posted them, so now everybody is in order, very easy to read. In first place, Jacqueline, second, Brooke, third, Samara, fourth, Maya, and fifth, Julia, with very even scoring throughout all the competitors. Okay, Julia in fifth place is gorgeous. Now I know this wasn't quite the pose. It's not, she didn't really have a side pose picture. Um, so I, I believe this is more of her transitioning between poses, but I wanted you to see that kind of more sideways look of her leg and her glute, but also to see the abs. And my goodness, is she ever amazing. I think her definition is so good, particularly because of how round she is. So she's got all of these full, gorgeous, curvy muscles and yet crazy definition at the same time. It's unbelievable. Really beautiful abs, great outlining of the quad. The size in her leg in this back leg looks unreal. Beautiful definition by the knee. Um, I think the way she's posing looks great. It's really accentuating the curve in her back. Uh, beautiful lats and great size in her arms. Like she just looks amazing. I think the color of her suit is gorgeous. It's so vibrant. It looks really nice against her skin, but also against the backdrop and her hair color. Ah. I'm just, I'm floored. I think she looks really good. Uh, as I said, I know this isn't quite the pose, but I would still be really careful um, with angles. I think it, her waistline would look even smaller if she was at a little bit more of a 45, uh, almost more of a profile, just to, to really show off the smallness of the waistline and to just be really careful about keeping the shoulders level. Like I get it, she's moving, it's just a snapshot, but I would always want to just maintain that really big triangular shape in the upper body. But my goodness, I just I just think she looks really awesome and like if this is a fifth place, what's to come? Because wow. Okay, next and fourth is Maya. She looks absolutely beautiful. The curves in her legs, oh my, like this is so lovely. It's such a great size, but a beautiful shape. I'm really drawn to her overall curviness. So she's got the curve in the front that really makes your eye, it's just such a great compliment to the curve in the glute. Like everything is so round and full. Her lower body is just beautiful. Uh, really nice small waist. I love the angle. I think her uh, waistline looks really small the way that she has her uh, belly button kind of angled at the corner. Beautiful lat and amazing delt. Again, curvy and round and just a great shape. I just... I look at her and I see so many circles, the the circle of the glute, the circle of the quad, the circle of the delt, even the conditioning shows off these beautiful curves. Like I feel like the, the definition in the quad down by the kneecap looks very rounded. Um, it's just gorgeous, beautiful calf, nice and round. She's posing really well, the shoulders are level, she's got the lat out so you see this beautiful triangular shape. She's wide on the top and very broad but still the focus is on the lower body and her arm falls just beautifully down by her side she's not pushing it backwards it's not bent at the elbow she's got just enough twist that her arm falls exactly where you want it to be it's like highlighting the glute so I think she really looks stunning and I love the suit color this teal it's beautiful and this is kind of an unusual thing for me to say. I, I don't mind at all. In fact, I like the hair being in front because it's just these two kind of 
thin pieces of hair. Um, it's not obstructing her lat. It's not obstructing her delt. It's just symmetrical. It's right parted down the middle. Like I'm totally cool with it. I think it looks great. So this is a beautiful fourth. And again, if this is fourth, like what's to come? Everybody is doing amazing. All right, now in third is Samara. Beautiful. Oh, she looks so good. Her waistline looks small. Her legs look huge. Great curve. Beautiful size. Nice conditioning. I like this line coming down. She's got a bit more detail coming through in the back leg. Um, her oblique looks really great. Her serratus right in the side looks nice and chiseled out. Beautiful triangular shape. Nice size to the shoulders. Uh, I think she could twist a little bit more, like be at more of a 45 and less of a... Um, kind of side right angle. I think she could open up the shoulders, uh, bring up the chest, just make sure the shoulder is nice and high and level with the back shoulder and just be that really big triangular shape. Though though I don't think she's doing a, a bad job by any means. She's still looking very uh, broad into the narrow waistline and your eyes drawn out by the elbow too. I just feel like I could see a little bit more. I'd like to see more of the the abs, um, maybe even a tiniest bit of the oblique uh, uh, on the backside. But I think her shape looks great. Her tan is nice and rich and dark. Um, the suit is really interesting with these double straps and the straps are a different color than the suit and it pulls out the green crystals. Just very cool. Um, I, I wouldn't mind if she could get a little bit more of a dip where the glute and the hamstring come together just right in here. I don't know if that's something you can pop the hip a little more or develop some way, but just that littlest bit of a curving in here to really accentuate the curviness of the hamstring. But like, wow, she looks really, really great. I'm super impressed by her midsection. All right, next and second is Brooke. Gorgeous red suit, beautiful blonde hair. Her tan looks really lovely in the leg, though I do find it could have been a bit more dark and even kind of up into the chest, although it could just be the lighting is really shining um, and making her glow quite a bit. But she's got beautiful details. I think the groove right here in her hip is so eye-catching. She's got nice size. She's got this pretty curve to the back quad. Beautiful line right here separating the quad from the hamstring and the hamstring curve is gorgeous. And here I love how the glute and the hamstring come together. She's got this great little line of definition outlining that curve and then the beautiful bubbly roundness of the hamstring itself. So it's just this really lovely silhouette. Um, She's got a tiny waistline, beautiful oblique, nice lat and shoulder, though I do feel like she could be, th this is another competitor, maybe a little tiny bit less sideways, be a, t a bit more of a 45 degree angle, just so we see a bit more of the ab definition. Uh, we see the oblique and we see the belly button, but I wouldn't mind seeing a bit of that frontal part of her stomach, maybe even a tiny bit of the back oblique, just to really fill out that middle and show us some of that um, definition. Uh, I also feel like if she was at a little bit more of an angle, it would help to really widen out the upper body and make that triangle really clear. And then she wouldn't need to make the arm go backwards so much. It could just fall a little bit more down. But I'm loving the profile shot of her legs. I think it's a really flattering look at the quad, the glute. And I think, man, she's, she's looking phenomenal. And now in first place is Jacqueline. She takes it to the next level. Nobody is coming close to her level of conditioning. She is lines and grooves and definition and detail. It, wow. A really clear outlining of the glute. Her hamstring it has this sharp line groove in her hip, a lot of detail coming through in the back leg, her calves, oh my gosh, completely outlined. She looks quite conditioned, extremely lean, but I'm loving the angle of her midsection. So she's doing exactly 
she's quite sideways, so you're having a really good view of her tiny waist, but she's still at a bit of a 45 degree angle, so you see the ab definition, you see the obliques. It's perfect. I've been talking about angles a bit in this uh, recap, and I think she really nailed it here. It accentuates that triangular shape of her upper body at the same time as accentuating her waistline and just being a really nice flow to combine the upper body with the lower body. Um, I think her shoulders have a nice size. The arm is coming down in a nice way to uh, just kind of gently fall near the glute. Her red suit with the red lip is beautiful. I love that her silky hair is all to the back. It's very open and allows you to see the the clavicle, the delt, the trap. Uh, I think she just did an amazing job and she definitely stands out in the lineup. Okay, so here's the lineup. I'm loving Jacqueline's posing here. I think she's got a great amount of her abs showing. I think Brooke did a good job here as well, really uh, showing off a nice amount of that midsection. Julia, her abs look amazing. She looks a little more substantial, not quite as tiny in the waistline as Jacqueline. Um, Maya, that glute really stands out, but more so that beautiful size and roundness into the quad. Um, I think Jacqueline's conditioning is like nobody else's. She looks so lean, so much detail down into the legs. Brooke has some nice detail as well. A little bit more of that fullness, a little more curve into the quad. Um, Julia, my goodness, such a beautiful size from glute and quad. I think this whole area almost seems like it's outlined and it looks so good. She's very densely full of muscle, particularly in that lower body. That leg looks amazing. Samara, beautiful curve to the glute. I think she has to be careful here with the posing that her arm doesn't obstruct the shape of the glute. Um, but yeah, to me, all eyes are on Jacqueline. She's so lean. She's got such crazy shapes, tiny waistline, and that triangle of the upper body is really, really apparent. And then in the back pose, my gosh, Jacqueline's definition Wow, her legs, the glute ham tie-ins are completely outlined. She has definition going down into her hamstrings. And what's really interesting is how the glutes come up so, or the, the quads come up so high to the glutes. Like I think you have a really nice amount of size and width into the glute all the way to like the top. Whereas some of the other competitors, like Brooke, for example, beside her, the glute comes in the quad comes in towards the middle of the glute even Samara the quad comes in and joins up to the middle of the glute with Jacqueline the quad comes all the way up and just the line continues to the curve of her glutes it's really cool she's got a tiny waistline I love the glossy hair I would have made it a tiny bit shorter honestly just a just a smidge um, Julia, amazing curves to the inside of her thighs. I think she's got great shape. Uh, maybe her stance could be a tiny bit more narrow. She just seems a bit more open than the other girls. Maya, I'm loving the amount of fullness she has into the glutes all the way. Like she's full from top to bottom, but also uh, side to side. I think she's got great curves, um, but she could have had a little bit more sharpness into the back of the legs with the definition. Samara, beautiful overall shape. I love her tan. I think her detail shows really nicely into the hamstrings. And Brooke, amazing quad sweep. I'm loving the size on these legs. Um, it looks just a nice uh, proportion with the size of the glutes. But Jacqueline, I think she just really has a crazy shape, crazy ratios, lots of lines, lots of detail, beautiful width, not only in the glute, but just in her whole leg itself. And I think she did an amazing job. And of course, qualified for Olympia. So I've got a few more recaps coming your way the final weekend to qualify for the 2024 Olympia. So make sure you subscribe. Give me a like if you like this video. Comment your thoughts below and come find me. I'm on Instagram at turquoise toffee.